Arts Moço é uma drag queen luso-canadiana, representada por Ana Moço, que tem vindo a conquistar o carinho de audiências televisivas e ao vivo, tanto no Canadá como a nível internacional. Dispondo de uma energia contagiante e um aguçado sentido de humor, Miss Moço é sinónima com um sorriso ou uma boa gargalhada. It's like a mask. I put on a wig and makeup and I transform into a, a whole other person. So like when I talk about Miss Mosu, it's like it's it's her. It's it's not sure it's me, but I talk about her as this other person that I just transform into. Drag kind of just fell into my lap. It wasn't planned. People were already starting to call me Miss Mosu, just as like this alter ego, because we would go out and then I would throw on like heels or uh, something that I would kind of be bending gender for myself. And that's where Miss Mosu was planted. And then someone had a party, I did drag. And from that moment, I was like, I'm a drag queen now. And then it just, it took over my life. Miss Mosu gave me that courage to stand on a stage and speak in front of people in high school. Adam, me, like I'm talking about like someone who's not here. Me, Adam, could could not even do a classroom presentation. Para além de organizar um pequeno almoço todos os sábados no Drake Hotel em Toronto, Miss Mosu destaca-se pelo seu empreendedorismo, envolvendo-se em diversos projetos e iniciativas. Até agora, o ponto mais alto da sua carreira foi sem dúvida a sua participação no programa televisivo Canada's Drag Race. And I started a drag brunch at Gladstone Hotel in 2018, became one of the biggest ones in the city. And that was my, that's what propelled me into this world of drag and kind of gave me a little more recognition and eyes on me. I've since just last month moved to the Drake Hotel, so I'm now there. And it's just like another step up in my career. And then because of Drag Brunch and It's every week, so it gave me an opportunity to try new things and kind of like keep changing and growing and evolving, which then eventually got me onto Canada's Drag Race. I didn't want to look at Drag Race as like, this is the, this is it. You make it there and you've made it. That's it, you're done. For me, it's like, it's an incredible, huge opportunity. And I knew that. And I just knew that, don't know what's going to happen when I get on, but all I know is that It's not the end. I need to still keep working and, and work hard to continue to grow and evolve. I love what I do and I love doing it for myself as well, not, not for others. Of course, I want people to enjoy, but like, I have to really enjoy what I do for others to really, to feel that energy. Há uns anos atrás, Adam decidiu arriscar. Pegou nas malas e mudou-se para Portugal à procura de investir não só no início da carreira de Miss Moço, mas também na sua independência e maturidade. A experiência foi um sucesso, tendo resultado na criação do concurso anual Miss Drag Lisboa. I had no idea what I was jumping into. I just knew I wanted to move to Europe before I was 30 and Portugal just seemed like the place because of my roots and I could I could just feel that like energy from the country and knowing that like, my father was born here, my grandparents, and then that whole line of, of my family are from there. So that, that made it comforting for myself to be there. And then I wasn't there to really work. It was more work on my art. So the, the lack of stress when it came to work made it easier for me to slowly kind of discover the, the city, Lisbon, and the country and then figure out what I wanted to do. I started showing RuPaul's Drag Race um, viewing parties at a small bar, and that kind of picked up some steam. And then from there, I just saw all the creative performers in this city that didn't have access to anything. So that's where the idea for Miss Drag Lisboa came from, which is kind of inspired off a Miss Universe where you have, they walk out in an evening gown, they have their performance, and then just some other sort of talent. And it was just a way mainly for me to be able to work and make money because I didn't know how long I would stay there. And then also to give opportunity to these incredible performers that were just popping up everywhere. Um, and then I only stayed two and a half years, but now I go back every year for this pageant. So this year, 2023, will be the sixth edition.
Ara moça a borda como conseguiu enfrentar o medo e a insegurança quando começou a assumir a sua outra identidade em público, que lhe permite expressar a sua liberdade e criatividade. Sometimes when you get stuck in the same routine and you realize that that is scarier than jumping into the unknown, that you know is your moment to just leap, jump, do it. What's the worst thing that could happen? It won't work out. Then you just go on to the next. Em breve, esperamos ouvir a Miss Moço a falar português, admitindo continuar a explorar as suas raízes e a sua língua. I grew up with my Portuguese grandparents. I was the youngest of three, so mom went back to work, so I was with them every day, which is how I think I have the ability to to speak the language with a, a proper accent. Partly why my goal to move to Europe and Portugal was like, I didn't want to lose that connection that I have to Portugal because it's so special. And to be Canadian and to have those roots, I wanted to make sure that I honored it. Who knows, there might be a Drag Race Portugal one day. This is why I'm taking my two lessons of Portuguese a week now, so I can be the host of it. Maiores palcos e fortes holofotes estão reservados para o futuro de Miss Moço, que irá originar muitas mais gargalhadas e a demonstrar toda a sua determinação e empreendedorismo.